Hey guys, I'm uh, gonna I'm about to tone a uh, cyanotype, but I'm gonna do it a little differently than I normally do. Normally, what I do is I bleach part of the image out, bleach it out about up, just up to the midtones, <clears throat> and uh, really dilute sodium carbonate, and then I'll rinse it and then stick the print in tannic acid. And uh, my tannic acid bath is really, really strong. In fact, it's probably too strong. Uh, I'm, I'm sort of corresponding with um, a guy who subscribes to my channel, Andrew. He's been experimenting with um, way less amounts of tannic acid and getting really good results. So that's great to hear because... Uh, Tannic acid is not cheap. I'll try that eventually. Right now, you know, I've got all of this mixed up. I could dilute it down, but I think I'll just keep it the way it is. And once it's past its uh, usefulness, I'll try a uh, batch with much less tannic acid. So usually when I tone it, a uh, cyanotype in tannic acid. I bleach it and dilute sodium carbonate up to just just touching the midtones. Rinse it really fast, and then stick it in the uh, tannic acid bath for and just let it soak uh, for about an hour. And this time, what I'm going to do is I'm going to reverse it. I'm going to put the print in the tannic acid for an hour give it a quick rinse and then I'm going to put it the print in a bath of a very very dilute bath of um, sodium carbonate see what happens okay so I've got the print it's been soaking for uh, 10 minutes maybe and just room temperature water in case you're wondering what this is um, so bamboo forest that I used to explore around in, in Japan. Anyways, I'm going to put this one in tannic acid. Did I ever tell you guys how much I love the smell of this stuff? I guess I'm weird. I'm going to leave it in here. I'm going to put it in face down. Right. <laughs> Don't. There's a print on. This is actually a test print on this side that I was doing before. Don't waste paper. Paper have two sides. Okay, now if you ever put a print in solution like this, face down, you're going to want to burp it, uh, push out any air bubbles, because there will always be air bubbles under there that are trapped, and if you've got an air bubble in there, that means the solutions will not get to the print. Okay. Oh, this stuff will make my fingers brown. I doubt it. Okay, I'm going to leave it for an hour, and I'm going to come back, and we'll do part two. Stick around. Because that's going to happen just like this. And we're back, just like that. An hour doesn't take long. Nope. Okay, the print's been sitting in the tannic acid for about an hour and I'm going to take it out and I'm going to give it a quick rinse and then it's going to go into a bath of um, very dilute sodium carbonate. Let's take a look at the print. Wow! This is a dream, right? Okay, so here's the print. Probably a little bit more light on this. 
subject. And I'm gonna rinse it. So I just have a tray of water here. I don't know if you guys can see it. I sort of can. Okay, so. Sodium carbonate time. Let's see what happens in the sodium carbonate. The well, color is definitely changing. The image isn't bleaching away. Wowzers. Pink? Looks pink. Went pink. It's a pink print. Wow. Well, let's just pull it and rinse it. I wasn't expecting that. Pink. Sodium carbonate didn't bleach any of the print out. I'm wondering if it's a tannic acid in some way inhibit that. So anyways, I've got the print, my pink, pinky purpley print. Can you guys see this? See this? Yeah, but it's kind of, you can see the pinky purpley. Well, I'm going to leave it soaking in water for about an hour. I wonder if I leave it in the water soaking, if that will affect the tone of the print. So, leave it in here for an hour. Face down. Anyways, I'll break out the air bubbles. And I will let it sit here and I'll see you guys in another hour. An hour has passed and it's been sitting in here soaking and doing whatever it's doing. The water is a little kind of brown. So that means or the tannic acid came out. Hmm. I don't know if the tone changed at all. It still looks pretty kind of pinky purpley. I'll just dump out the water. Just give it a quick rinse. You can see it. Can you guys see it? It's not bad. It's actually, it's actually quite nice. I don't mind that tone at all. So I'm going to rinse it a little bit more and then I'm going to hang it up to dry and take another look at it. Catch you guys later.